At what point in your life have you been aware of direct synchronicity with someone else? Maybe synchronicity has to do with connections between things. Um, maybe synchronicity has to do with the circle that we observe in life, if we're lucky to. Maybe that's where the poetry lives. Example, i.e., my first poem was about apartheid in South Africa, and it was brought about by receiving beads from the Zulu women. Um, a woman I knew went to Africa. She brought me back these beads. I was 11 years old. And then I found out about apartheid because of those beads from the Zulu women. And I was dreaming at the time of the women touching those beads. And I, I was just spellbound by this as an 11-year-old. I was like, wow, is that ever incredible? And then many you know, years later, maybe 30 or 40 years later, I'm invited to go to Africa to read my poems, South Africa. And there I was reading my poems in Zululand. And I took that original poem and the beads from the Zulu women. I returned them back to the place with dignity and respect, and I read my poem, the first poem I ever read or wrote in the place that I always wanted to be. And I think that's where poetry lives, in the circle. And when you see the circles, it moves your heart to write the poem.